Hello everybody! Today we're going to see how I draw Splatterella from Fortnite. Just so you know, there's a coloring book that you can get through Amazon. Just follow the link in my description and you can get a coloring book to show me how you color to how I draw. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpies. So if you don't want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. But for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. All right, I'm going for a, not a, not an action pose. Oh, that's different. Ooh, that's off, that's off. And this is why you sketch first, because I got to see where I'm going to place her, how I can fit her in, and how much room I have. So I have her a little um, um, with her legs um, stretched out position that uh, I can kind of draw her a little bit bigger. So I had to take that into consideration um, with the, uh, the sketch and where I was placing it. So I can kind of play around with with room here so a lot of times because I'm trying to fit from here to here you know I've got to fit an entire body and you know it, it it's extra negative room I wish I could use this but you know that's all we got so when I do stuff like this and kind of you know sp stretch out their uh, sprawl you know it, it, it gives more room so I kind of take advantage of that that I can I can draw a, uh, a wider stance or a larger picture with such a wider stance, you know? And uh, I'm just trying something different because I always draw them standing, you know, just doing something. So I'm trying to mix it up, you know, trying to make a, a different character or a different position for the character. And uh, I'm just trying something different because, you know, no offense, but this character isn't really doing much or the character doesn't have much. You know, she's she's just wearing a, a regular tank top and just has arms. You know, no armor, stuff like that. No uh, uh, accoutrement is what they call it in French. Um, so there's only so much I can really draw. So I thought I'd play around with you know uh, positioning. You know what we can see. I think that'll work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And let's do, let's just do the hands out, kind of splayed out. Kind of a uh, jazz hands, you know? That old, that old chestnut. Let's do jazz hands. Okay. I think that's gonna woo woo that's not gonna work let me try to redraw that hand real quick oof that's horrible that is horrible and that's why you sketch that's why you sketch to make sure you get it right because that was definitely not right okay let me work my way back down so I can see it so you got to visualize it you got to think of okay I want it to look like this so this has got to come from here and so I want to do a hand up a little bit like this there we go that's more of a jazz hand alright that's better that's better I don't know what it did the first time but hey that's what it is that's why we practice that's why it doesn't always look right you know sometimes you gotta you gotta redraw and try to you know capture that that look that you're doing the first time it happens it happens to all of us as you can see it even happens to me and then you just got to redraw what is she wearing straps okay that'll work let's uh let's draw this hand over here now so again i'm going to kind of follow I want this shoulder up a little bit more follow my positioning That'll work. Okay. 
And sometimes it helps me to do that too. Exactly that is is uh, say flow it. You know, so okay, it's going to flow this way, and this arm's going to bend right here, and then the muscle's going to be right there. And I just gotta you know make sure that it it works in that position, and that way uh, it'll it'll make sense whenever I'm sketching it out. Because that's earlier, that's why I messed up too. Because it didn't make sense, you know, it wasn't working in that position. So, uh, so that's why I had to resketch it. There you go, jazz hands. Looking good. Anything over there? Nope, just straps again. So see, that's what I'm talking about, that there's no armor, there's no, you know, special, you know, uh, um, armor. I don't know why I'm trying to come up with a better word. No special things about the, her outfit that are, are going to stand out too much, so that's why I wanted to mix it up a little bit. She does have a gun, but obviously the way I positioned her, you're not going to see it. Okay, so let's see. Let's draw like the grenades. Basically, I'm going to add the detail. Is what I'm trying to say. Or at least enough of the detail that I can start the sketch. Like I don't I don't need to draw every single grenade to uh, get the sketch going or to get to jump over the sharpie portions because uh, it, that that'll come out in the uh, in the detail and is unnecessary for a sketch see like even her pants now that I'm looking at it or her, or her, her legs her boots she doesn't have any you know it's just uh, shoes And, you know, I don't mean to say that in a negative way, like, you know, this is boring, there's nothing to draw. I mean it in, like, uh, you know, there's there's a, a lack of, of specifics. So I, that's why I thought I'd jazz it up a little bit with, uh, with the position. You know, something a little, a little more fun, a little more challenging, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And that's something else to think about too. Even if you don't like this character, still try to draw. You know, get some get some uh, practice in. That's usually the best thing to do because you know, it's not always the the best bite. You know, it's not always um, what do you call it? Uh, s'mores. You know, sometimes it's broccoli, and it's good for you. So sometimes you just gotta eat it. I like broccoli though. I don't know why I just use that analogy. Broccoli is delicious. Okay, um, let's see. Now her hair is covering over one eye. So all we really gotta worry about is the detail on one. And then uh, we'll add the, the, the covering. Let's do that now. Let's get the hair down. draw the splatters okay looks good like that and since her hair is in braids let's see if I can do my zigzaggity technique right A little bit, a little bit. I'm more more worried about it again. More worried about the sketch right now than uh, the specifics because Sharpie will get the specifics, you know. And I want to do. Let's do down. There we go. That'll work. Okay. So let me get her. Uh, rest of her face ok 
Okay, so I think we're about ready to go. Yeah. Okay, there we go. So let's uh, let's erase some of these sketch lines, and then we're gonna switch over to the sharpies. So we're gonna welcome everybody that skipped. And if you're working with pencils, you just keep going. You don't have to erase. I just want my, my Sharpie to stand out, so I'm going to take away some of these sketch lines. But leave myself enough to, to guide me. And then we'll get going. Alright, I think that's enough. I think that'll work. So there we go. Let's welcome everybody that skipped. Welcome skippers, welcome to the Sharpie portion of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I do a different drawing every day. You can join along and have some fun. I'm going to be working with a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen. Mostly the fine point, but a pen's a little finer than a fine point. It can find things that a fine point can't quite find. I've sketched the entire thing out. I've erased the majority of the sketch lines and left myself just enough to see to guide us on this Sharpie adventure. So I'm going to start with the Sharpie pen because I can control the line widths much better. I've got her head right here, her hands are going to be out, and I'm just going to start drawing over uh, my, my drawing, or tracing over my drawing, I'm going to start with the eye. I'm going to start with the eye, like that. Add some retina. That's the color part, right? And then add a pupil. I'm going to come back in just a little bit like this, but not draw all the way at the bottom of the eye. Like that. Because I want color to take care of a lot of it, and uh, this will bleed if I keep adding too many lines. So, that's a little high. That's higher than I, I intended. So I'm gonna have to bring everything up just a hair. And just take that into account with my drawing. So, that'll work. Okay, so I'm gonna bring her nose. Oh, okay, you know what? Let me do this. Her hair is parted on the side. It's gonna be over her other eye like that. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do it so I know where I am and to guide me with the, the, uh, the rest of the lines. And I don't want to draw all the hair lines. I mean, I do. I absolutely do want to draw the hair lines, but I want color to take care of a lot of it. So I'm trying not to draw too much. And we'll, we'll get back to it in a second. I just, the face in a second. I just figure, you know what? I'm here, I might as well add some of these lines. There's the top of her head, basically. And I'm also gonna start to thicken up some of the outside whenever I do this, because when I switch over to this Sharpie, you're gonna see a huge line difference. And so I'm trying to prep for how it's gonna look. There you go, that's gonna work. I'll, I'll do more in a second. Let's, let's get back to where we were so we're not all over the place. So for the bridge of her nose, let's go ahead and just do something like that. And then I can come down here to her nose up like this and I think that's all I want to do I want to draw a lot more look let's see maybe I can do a little bit of a nostril but uh, I don't want to I don't want to draw too much because usually with uh, like the bulb of her nose the edge and stuff like that it's not a hard edge like the edge of her face so you don't want to draw with a big sharpie and make it really pronounced because um, like I said it's not a sharp edge okay so I'm gonna draw the top of her lip bottom of her lip because the way I say it sharpies scream at you they're not subtle they don't uh, they don't whisper you know we got a saying around here uh, Texas never whispers neither do sharpies okay so that's her that's her chin and I draw her side of her face like this go ahead and continue it Okay, and so, let's see, I can go up to about right here because uh, her hair is gonna start to take over and cover up some of her face here. So I just wanna make sure I don't draw through the hairline. All right, so speaking of hairlines, let's go ahead and let's give her her neck like this. I gave her a little bump for the uh, little um, uh, band that she's got on her neck, but I just wanted to basically give myself a start-stop point um, 
uh, because I want to draw the the, uh, the braided hair. And so I was just kind of coming up with where things were going to be. That's why I was doing stuff like that. Okay, so um, I'm not too concerned about the, the braids, but I'm going to go ahead and try to do a little bit of my, my, my zigzaggity technique, which is basically, but I got to follow where it's going to go. So I'm kind of going to do something like this. Now I'm going to bring it down and that'll kind of show me where uh, the edges are going to be. Okay. So something kind of like that. So I'm not too concerned with how perfect it is. I was more just trying to get some uh, edge in there because it's not hanging down. It's kind of folding over her shoulder. So I wanted to make sure that I follow the continuity more than uh, whether it looks like it's actually braided. Continuity. Continuity. Follow the continuity. Okay? All right. So this side over here, we're going to do just like this. It's going to be all braided up. So it's going to kind of come down thick like that. We're going to do a little wispy edge. Then it's all going to start to go into itself that. So again, I think I'm going to do the top technique like this. Okay. So there you go. You got kind of a braid to show that the hair is kind of, you know, wrapped up, but again, going over her shoulder. So that's something else we got to talk about. I guess I should go back and do more, um, braid uh, uh, tutorials because we haven't talked about if it's laying over something like I did one where it's just going down flat well that's kind of pointless when it's overlapping on something right okay so let's do the back of her neck and let's see I tried to do that bump but it kind of fell apart there it's okay all right so I'm gonna switch over to the big sharpie now and again you're gonna see a huge difference so that's why you're gonna see why I was uh, here, let's add just a little bit of the eye, just a touch. Like you can see something right there. There you go. The bridge of the nose. That builds it. Okay, so I'm gonna come back to the Sharpie pen. I just wanted to add, you know, some some highlights, and then we'll do uh, we'll do the thick edges and highlights with the Sharpie pen. So I'm gonna have her hands out. She's kind of doing jazz hands, you know. So let's do this arm. I'm gonna draw the shoulder right here, down to the bicep, down to the crook of her arm, and. It's, she's got like wraps around it, so I'm gonna slightly raise it up a little bit. So, when I'm drawing the wrist, I'm gonna come down just a little bit, just a touch, and then draw the, the crook of her arm. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other side, down to the elbow, come back into the underside, and uh, I just did that so you see where we are. And uh, then I'll draw the shirt and everything. But I just wanted to give you an idea. But uh, for the wrist, um, let's do this. Let's not close it off yet. I'm going to do that with the Sharpie pen. Let's just draw the hand. So I'm going to draw the thumb out like this. It's a little difficult to draw with such a, a fat Sharpie, like little delicate details like the hands. But we're going to try. Now, I've already sketched this out, that's why I'm just kind of going like this. So once you do stuff like that, you can you can follow your, your design. Okay, so I wanted to do it with the Sharpie uh, pen because I want a finer point for that, for the straps. And then I don't even want to draw the straps, I want to do that with color. But I wanted it to look very subtle, that's why I was going for that. So for her hands, let's do... Kind of something like this, just to show some, some creases and folds. Some bends in the, in the appendages, like that. And I, I wish this wasn't as, as, as uh, fat all the way through, like filled in, but that's okay. I'm not worried about it. Okay, so for her arm, we'll just do a little bit of that. Maybe we'll do a little bit of the top muscle like that. This one will come in like this. And keep it subtle like that because it's it's skin. There's no no 
bends and folds in the cloth like we're gonna do here, so we're gonna keep it simple. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and draw her, her chest to the other arm so you see where we are. So go down to her waist, and the belt's gonna be right there, so, hmm. Let's go ahead and just draw her shirt, I guess. Gonna come around here, and it goes up there so you can't really see that edge. But you can come down here and see the front. And then, let's see, it's hard to see exactly where that goes up there, but I can draw her breast to her rib cage to her waist, again down to where the belt's gonna be. I'm gonna stop right there. And for her shirt, like we did there, I'm gonna make it subtle with the uh, Sharpie pen. And let's go ahead and do a strap on the side too. This one you can't see because her body is turned, okay? So that's why we're not gonna worry about it on that side. It is a subtle edge here on the front do like that okay and so let's see her clavicle will be right right there come back over that's where her neck would be like that okay just giving you a few little extras because it's so blank because it's just skin I wanted to give you a little bit of extra to uh, understand the the human anatomy okay so we're gonna draw her shoulder over here too now we can draw this one a little bit lower just like we did over there, we're gonna do the bicep down to the crook of the arm, then where it bends. And I'm gonna do the same thing because there's more straps over here too. So I'm gonna raise it just a hair, come back in here for the wrist. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done it like that, but that's okay. What's done is done. We're just gonna keep going. We'll come down here for the other part of the wrist, down to the elbow, like that. Draw the underside of the arm, like that. And let's draw the hand, then I'll add the detail. So same thing, do a little jazz hand out. All right, I managed to keep that one more open than that one, so it's gonna look a little bit better. Okay, so, well, I wish I could turn my paper. I'm telling you, you're, I, it's taped down so I can't, so it's hard to, to get used to. In the two years I've been doing this, I, I'm still not used to that. So, let's see how I can do this. Okay, I think that'll work. Nope, a little bit, a little bit wide there. That's okay. All right, a little bent up for a jazz hand like that. She's kind of going like this. So, all right, so now, again, these straps I'll go ahead and draw across. We'll do something like this just to accent it, right? Okay, and again, I'm gonna do some, some hand lines. And again, I just like doing stuff like this just to show that there's, you know, our palm lines, you know, we all have them, and it helps to, to show that there's, you know, movement. All right. That'll work, that'll work. I don't want to go too crazy. All right, again, just a few little flesh lines like that. And there we go. Keep it subtle, nice and subtle, because it's it's just skin. You know, we don't want to go too crazy. Okay, so she has a belt that's in front. We're going to draw that one first. So I'm going to come down here on the side and draw like a buckle. It's going to come down. All right, so let's draw the, like, uh, they're like big old, big old cannon bullets, you know, big bazooka bullets. What's that called? Um, shells, you know, big old, what is that called? Um, shells. I, I can't think of the word right now, so not too worried about it. And it's going to wrap back around but disappear behind her, so that's all we're drawing there. Let's draw some details into that. A 
is something like this just to you know kind of make it uh, make it uh, um, not army what's the word I'm looking for uh, well, there's detail I don't know why I'm trying to find a better word than that these words connected we're not connected but uh, held on by a strap that's going around it for each one here we go awesome Okay, so then there's one underneath, and so I'm gonna do this next one here, and this one pretty much just a strap going across. Like that, and this one goes to her gun, but you can't really see the gun because it's on her hip. It's on her side, which is basically on the other side of her body. So, I'm gonna draw little parts like this and that's all you can really see and then we'll say the rest of the gun is back behind like that and uh, I'm just gonna come out to here and stop there because I want to draw the leg before I draw the underside of the gun but I want to make sure I, uh, I I don't draw through it basically okay let's draw just a quick little um, buckle Something like that, you know, just give it some some texture, basically. Okay. Okay, so let's draw her legs. And it's just pants. Just cloth with some rips in them, apparently. She needs some new pants. She needs to get her mama to take her to the store, get some new pants. Your mama's gonna be mad. Alright, uh, let me draw the edge of her leg. Like that. And it's going to come down and flare out just a little bit down to the, the rolled up edge of her pants. Go back the other way. And let's see, her crotch is right there. All right, and let's see. Let's go ahead and do the pants all together and then I'm going to add some, some, some detail because there's rips and uh, and obviously, you know, cut lines or not cut lines, crease lines that we want to we want to accent. All right, there we go. So let me add some detail. So yeah, she's got rips in her pants. So that's why I kind of made a little bump out like that to accent that one okay but uh, it doesn't look like yeah it's just a just a hole it's nothing too crazy so I just want to make sure there's no you know rip line out you know nothing like that oh you know what she does have the other part of the strap so I'm gonna come in here and do another one of these Just to, to where it's connected to the 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 other side of the holster, something like that. Um, so yeah, so let me add some some crease lines because when you uh, stretch your legs out like this, you cause a lot of creases. And uh, you know she's right now she's got her, her legs pretty uh, stretched out, bah, stretched out. So I just want to add some creases and folds real quick. And plus, it, it like makes makes the pants come alive. You know, it looks it looks real. All right. So now let's draw the rip in this one. Something like that, because it's like like on the the front of the leg. So uh, I just want to place it like that. And again, when when you when you have a lot of bends, like uh, you know where your where your joints are, that's where I like to draw the the, the creases in the pants, because it helps to show that there's there's a movement in that action in that action in that in that spot. All right, so now I'm just going to draw her legs and then her shoes. So. 
just anatomy is all we're really doing now, so. Okay, I'll add some detail in a second. Shin down to her shoe. In the front of her shoe. Back of the shoe. Makes sense, right? Let me add some detail now. I'm going to add a, uh, a, uh, a sole here in a second. I just wanted to get some of this detail in real fast. And then here we'll add just a little bit of a sole down here like that. There we go. So Okay, let's draw the front of this shoe. Soul of this one, that's all you can really see. And let's see, there's not much you can see as far as that that design. So there you go. We'll just do that. So there, I say we take care of the rest with color. So that is Splatterella from Fortnite. So here's how I colored it. Tell me what you think in the comments below, or show me what you did in our Discord group. Just have fun and make it your own, because remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw, and we'll meet somewhere in between. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures on how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button for new videos.